Fossilized remains of this specimen of Dimetrodon milleri was discovered in 1937, but it might surprise you to learn that it's still actively used in scientific research. Here's the skull of this Dimetrodon specimen. It's been removed because scientists are studying it right now. Let's go see what they're up to in our collections. Scientists are looking at features of the skull to learn about the evolution of mammals. Using a CT scanner, we're looking at bones and features within the skull that can't be seen from the outside. The bones of the brain case, for example, provide information about where soft tissues used to be, such as the brain and the nervous system. This particular specimen here is what's known as a type specimen, a true example of a species. All species on Earth that have been described by scientists have a type specimen that possesses the defining characteristics of the species. Dimetrodon milleri, for example, is unique because it's much smaller than other Dimetrodon species and has smaller teeth which are smooth around their edges. A type can be a specimen like this one, a culture like a culture of bacteria, an illustration like the one of this butterfly, or even a sample of DNA. This specimen of Dimetrodon milleri was the first of the species ever discovered and the most complete. If a scientist suspects that they have found a Dimetrodon milleri, they must compare its features to this one to determine whether or not they have made a correct identification. Natural history collections like the ones here at Harvard are important because they house vast collections of preserved animals, including many type specimens. In the vertebrate paleontology collection, we have over 1,000 type specimens. Feel free to explore the gallery to see if you can find all the type specimens we have on display. Types are designated on the label beside each specimen. 